morning, everyone. Happy Friday. It is 6.38. Let's jump right into the forecast here this morning. You'll see the News 8 Storm Team forecast from Carlisle reads sun, sun early, then becoming mostly cloudy later on. It'll be seasonal today, rather quiet throughout the morning and afternoon, with high temperatures around 36 degrees. Now, tonight, the speed of our storm has sped up a little bit, so here's the updated information. Snow will begin after 8 p.m., we think, right along the Mason Dixon line and slowly spread north. We could also mix with some rain or freezing rain south and east of Harrisburg in the overnight hours. So that will cut our accumulations down just a bit. We're looking at two to four inches for most of the area tonight with just a little bit of lingering rain or snow early tomorrow. So tomorrow that snow will wind down early, perhaps mixed with rain in a few spots, ending by early afternoon at the latest. So this storm is in, it's out, it has some warmer air with it, and that's why we're going to mix a little bit tonight in many areas. Here are the current conditions right now. When you step out the door, not too bad. It's 26 degrees in Harrisburg, 27 in Lancaster. Good morning, Sealands Grove. You're one of our warmest spots at 31 degrees. Live on Super Doppler 8, satellite and radar picture combined, you can see some clearing, especially south, and that's why temperatures are a bit cooler through Adams and York counties. Down to the south here over the southeast, this is our storm that'll be creeping our way late tonight into early tomorrow morning. And look at this thing, it's pretty uh, convective actually, blowing up some thunderstorms, possible isolated tornadoes along the Florida panhandle today. Now, we're not expecting anything like that in our neck of the woods, but we will see this warm storm coming in late this evening. So take a look. Here's what the predictor says for us. High pressure, which is briefly overhead this morning, quickly hightails it out to sea. Here come the clouds thickening by evening. And then after 8, that's when the snow will overspread the region from south to north. But you see that? Look at that blue. That's the mix that will happen overnight into early tomorrow, cutting down our snow totals with this storm. Finally, low pressure pulls out to sea, ending all precipitation by late tomorrow morning, early tomorrow afternoon. And we're done with it. But we're not done just yet. Take a look up to the north and west. This is a clipper coming out of Canada. This will race across the Great Lakes Sunday and come up in our neck of the woods late Sunday evening through early Monday. So this is going to impact the Monday morning commute. We'll talk more about that one a little bit later on. One storm at a time. This is our storm for tonight. 8 o'clock to midnight, snow will be developing south to north. From midnight to 8 a.m., accumulating snow. This is when we're going to see most of our accumulations here, about two to four inches, with some mixing south and east. Then from 8 o'clock tomorrow morning to about one in the afternoon, a little scattered rain and snow as the storm winds down and quickly pulls out to sea. So here's what you can expect: that all snow north and west of Harrisburg, mainly some snow in that blue zone. That's where we're going to see two to four inches. And in the pink zone, when you see that rain-snow mix. That's about one to two inches for extreme southern Lancaster County and Chester County. Here's the extended uh, forecast for you, Jerry. You can see Sunday, we get another one, Sunday night into Monday. Then it's fairly quiet, but really cold. 24 on Tuesday, 26 on Wednesday, and those overnight lows may be in the single digits in some spots. It's a, it's a brief cold blast, but it's a cold blast. And so whatever snow we get from these two storms is going to be sticking around at least to the end of next week. It is, it is. Yeah. So uh, snow lovers, you can get out there, there go. work the skis, work the snowboard. You can indeed. <laughs> you can indeed. Christine, thank you. All right.